Abba, and God, you are merciful and kind, and we thank you for the gift of love and to be able to express that love with others, and we thank you for this day to celebrate the gift of marriage. Lord, we lift up Matt and Stacy in our prayers, but we lift up all the bridal party and all the family who are gathered here. Anoint us with your spirit, and may all that we do bring you glory and honor. In your holy name we pray, amen. Friends, we are gathered here as the people of God to witness the marriage of Stacy Lynn Sadler and Matthew Robert Hahn. We come to share in their joy and to ask God to bless them. Marriage is a gift of God sealed by a sacred covenant. God gives human love. Through that love, husband and wife come to know each other with mutual care and companionship. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, mind, and spirit is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. God gives joy. Through that joy, wife and husband may share their new life with others as Jesus shared new wine at the wedding in Cana. With your love and prayers, we support Stacy and Matt as they freely give themselves to one another. I ask you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Stacy, will you have Matt to be your husband to live together in holy marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If, you, if this is your intent, you'll respond by saying, I will. I will. Matt, will you have Stacy to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. If this is your intention, you'll respond by saying, I will. I will. All that we do is done in community. We who are gathered here today make up Matt and Stacy's community. We are their support system. So we have an opportunity in this service to voice our support. The marriage of Matt and Stacy unites their families and creates a new one. They ask for your blessing. So listen, all of us gathered here. Will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for Matt and Stacy? If you agree to this, you'll respond by saying, we will. I take you, Stacy. I take you, Matt. To be my wife. To be my husband. And I promise before God. And I promise before God. And who are present here. And who are present here. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful wife. I will serve you. I will serve you. With tenderness and respect. With tenderness and respect. And encourage you. And encourage you. To develop God's gifts in you. To develop God's gifts in you. To join with you. To join with you. And to share. And to share. All that is to come. All that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. 
to inspire and to respond in all our life together and in all our life together to be loyal to you to be loyal to you with my whole being with my whole being as long as as long as we both shall live we both shall live you have declared your consent and vows before God and all those assembled here may God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Matt and Stacy, since you have now pledged yourselves to one another in the covenant of marriage and have made your declaration before God and these witnesses, I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those God has joined together, let no one put asunder. How are we all doing tonight? My name is Patrick, and I have the pleasure of being Matt's best man at this celebration of uh, Matt and Stacy's love. Um, I've known, uh, hold on, I really thought I was going to be the minister at this wedding to, to marry them, but who knew you really had to have some experience and a license to do it? Um, so yeah, that didn't really pan out. But, you know, all jokes aside, I'm truly grateful to be part of this special day for Matt and Stacy. So I've known Matt and Stacy for quite some time now. I've met Stacy when I was in my uh, second semester of my freshman year at Radford which was in the spring of 2012, and I met Matt uh, in the spring of 2013. Uh, back then, Stacy and I were neighbors for a little while, while I would meet Matt just once before making my decision to leave the university. But I didn't know it then, but I made a connection with two people I would be friends with forever. It's wonderful. Uh, so the first time I met Matt, that was during my sophomore year at Radford, but it was still very early into a relationship, but even then, I knew something special between them. Although Matt and I had only been friends for a, for a short time, I'm so grateful for our friendship and for Stacy for bringing him into my life. Matt, Stacy, and I have literally gone through miles together. We've gone through Corolla, North Carolina, Denver, and Vancouver. And each time is always as good and fun as the last. I'd like to propose a toast to Matt and Stacy, the two people who have found a love for each other that not everyone has. A love that I hope, I hope to find. A love that shall never be broken and tarnished. And with that being said, congratulations to my two best friends, Matt and Stacy. May your lives together bring you and your new family hope, joy, and happiness. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah, and I'm Stacy's best friend. And today I'm proud to be her maid of honor as she marries her other half. I still remember when Stacy called me after her first date with Matt, and I was like, so, how'd it go? And she said, after dinner, we went to look over the James River at night, side note middle of December and it's freezing. She continued to say they just talked all night and kissed me and of course he kissed me. Of course at this point I'm really excited for her and thought wow this guy is sweet. But I knew at that point after hearing about their date and the fact that they were both okay with sitting outside in the middle of December in the freezing cold they were meant for each other. Matt is a great guy and has always supported and stood by Stacy's side which is the best thing a best man can ask for. Stacy and Matt, these next chapters in your lives will be amazing. You have already accomplished so much as a couple, and now you are as husband and wife. Appreciate every moment. Your wedding day will come and go, but your love will grow forever. Let's all please raise our glasses and toast to a lifetime of happiness to the bride and groom. Cheers. Can you give Stacy and Matt any words of wisdom? He should just remember, she's always right. you know. 
you dress to the nines And I can't take my eyes off you I do, I do As you approach My heart starts really Steps away, you're almost here. Then I can have you forever. You walk up the aisle to tell me you do, and I look back at you. You walk up the aisle to tell me I, I do. do, I do, I do. You walk up the aisle, you dress to the night. I can't take my eyes